Hi guys, it's Ashley from Maple and in Ink. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a clear shaker card specifically for gift cards. I know this time of year you're going to be wanting to give out some gift cards either in a stocking or even under the tree. So I wanted to make one and show you how to do it. So let's get started. You'll need a clear page protector. You can also use... Um, a stamp storage pocket like this or some vellum pretty much anything clear and plastic will work that you can fuse together you'll also need some white cardstock red cardstock the color me alpha stamp set from maple and ink you'll also need a acrylic block i'm using the square one that's specifically for stamping sentiments which i absolutely love and then you'll also need some sequins. I actually picked this up from the dollar store. The Dollar Tree had this hanging out by the Christmas stuff. So I thought I would pick this up. And it's a huge bag too. So the card that I'm going to be shoving inside of this is a Starbucks gift card. I picked this up from the grocery store. Everyone loves coffee so you can't go wrong with that. Okay, so I'm going to be making this shaker card about four by five inches so I'm just going to cut that out okay so once you cut out your shaker card you're going to need your ear fuse tool I'm using the the we are memory keepers fuse tool you want to have some some paper underneath this when you fuse it just so you don't melt your mat or your table. And you're going to fuse together three of the sides, leaving one side open so you can dump all of the contents in. I'm just going to follow this line that was at the bottom of this. I'm going to go over it a second time just to make sure I got it. Perfect. Now this side is already together because it was the side of the page, but I'm going to just fuse it so it looks uniform all the way around. It's really hard to see underneath this um, silver plate, but I'll get there eventually, right? Okay, I think I'm even. So. Oh, and of course, the sun decides to go all behind the clouds right now, so sorry about the shadows. Once you have fused all the way around, you'll want to trim down the sides. Especially to make it look more even. You know, sometimes it's hard to see how straight it is underneath that silver plate. So I'm just going to trim it down with my scissors. And. Make sure not to trim off what you've fused because otherwise it'll open it back up. And all of the contents will fall out and that won't be good will it okay so there's that now we're going to stamp our sentiment I'm just going to be I'm just going to be using um let's see what is this called I'm going to be using this gold ink from Delicata it's a pigment ink and it's called golden glitz I absolutely love this golden ink um, it's kind of thick and sticky, I guess you can say, but I love it and it turns out really well. I'll show you guys once I stamp it down. I'm going to be using the Color Me Off a stamp set to stamp Ho 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 on it. So I'm going to be using a small strip of cardstock. It's about, oh, I'm going to be using red and white cardstock. This will be the back of it. 
and this will be what I'm stamping the sentiment on. The red is about three inches, and then I just cut the white down a little bit smaller so it'll have a border like that. I'm going to be stamping ho 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 onto this white cardstock. See, it is a little bit sticky. It does catch on your stamps a little bit, but you can easily peel it off, so it's not a big deal. I'm going to be zigzagging the ho-ho-ho so you can tell more what it says. I don't want it to look just like one giant long mishmash word, I guess. <laughs> so there you go, ho-ho-ho. Okay, well, apparently my Xeron sticker machine just ran out of sticker paper. So we are going to go back to the trusty Elmer's school glue stick. And you know what? It's purple, so it's the awesome kind that dries clear. <laughs> so I'm just going to so I'm just going to glue the back of this white piece right here. Hit it nice and good. Stick it down on this red piece in the middle there you go and then glue the back of the red piece this is such a super simple card it's quick and easy because I know people have tons of things to do around the holidays they have tons of gifts to wrap tons of baking to do Tons of Christmas parties and everything that needs to get done. So, you're just making this super simple one. Now, once you've glued the back of this red piece, you're going to just tack it down onto the front of this card. I'm going to put it around... Oh, do I want to put it sideways? Or... Yeah. I'm going to put it tilted up near the top. You're just going to glue it down. And there you go. Now I'm going to stick the gift card down in this. Doesn't need to be straight. It looks kind of cool all crooked like that. Now I'm going to dump these sequins in there. We'll see how much I do. I may make them fight off the sequin fairies to get to their gift card. Because I'm mean like that. Okay, I've got most of the back filled up on this. And then you want to flatten it out just a little, little bit so you can have the top in flat so you can fuse it together. I'm going to bring this paper back over here so I can fuse it and not melt my mat. Okay, that one should do it. Okay, now I'm cutting off the top end. Because I fused it down a bit far. And there you go. A Starbucks gift card for a stocking or underneath a tree. Perfect holiday gift if you don't know what they want. Or just, you know, stocking stuffer. And there you have it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys found this useful and if you guys make another shaker card like this don't forget to tag maple and ink i would love to see what yours turns out like thank you all so much for watching and i will see you guys next time bye